What's going on everybody and welcome to GNR Central and today I want to talk about two of my favorite bands one of being Guns N' Roses and the other one being Steel Panther. So Steel Panther opened a show for Guns N' Roses back in 2011 at the LA Forum and their lead singer Michael Starr gave an interview when he was down under and talked about his favorite story on the road involving a sleepy Axl Rose. So he recalled when Steel Panther opened for guns at the Forum in Los Angeles in 2011, Starr said Axel closed off the whole left side of the arena of any noise for four hours while he took a nap. We had to go into the dressing room and no one could tune guitars or be on stage for four hours. He continued by saying that's heavy metal and it's funny. Now if you guys have ever seen Steel Panther in concert, you know there's a lot of banter between the members, most, more specifically uh, Michael Starr as well as uh, their guitarist and uh, they, they do a lot of back and forth and uh, one guy who saw them live said uh, I saw these guys a month ago and they were effing hilarious. Satchel who's a guitarist told Michael that he looked like an extra fat Vince Neil and Michael replied by saying that he may be fat but he still looks like the skinny Axl Rose. So in 2015 their guitarist Satchel gave an interview and he talked a bit about Slash. So during the interview, they asked him, we were expecting you guys to do Sidewave together. However, you'll be doing that with Slash. And when that was announced, many fans were asking whether you and Slash would do a guitar battle on stage. To which Satchel said, well, I'm not going to do a guitar battle with Slash because he's like really super duper good at guitar. First of all, I don't want anyone to, I don't want to lose the guitar battle because that would suck. So the only way to not lose for sure is not to do one. Plus if I win, all of the Slash fans would want to kick my ass. I think the best bet is for Slash and I just to stay away as far away from each other as possible because that way no one will know who's better. Let's just assume he is a much better guitar player than I am. He's been doing this a lot longer than me. So around the same time Slash gave an interview about playing with Steel Panther and about when he saw the guys for the first time. Here's the interview. He also talks a bit about some pinball stuff as well. Hello. Hey, what's happening? Oh, I'm just uh, sitting How are here, you? waiting to talk to you, and I'm very excited. You're coming back to visit us again, as we know, for Soundwave. Yeah. But how's this, this announcement for today that you're doing a, a Sidewave with Steel Panther? Yeah, right. That's so that cool. That should be pretty festive, don't you think? Um, I, I reckon you're going to start a bushfire. It's going to be so hot. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's like you're bringing West Hollywood to uh, to Australia for a couple of shows. Are you going to get up on stage with them, or you don't know yet? Uh, I, I have no idea, but I mean, I'm, I'm most likely, most like, I haven't thought about that. That's really funny, bringing West Hollywood to Australia. Yeah. That's, that's, that is pretty funny. Cause yeah, the first time I ever saw those guys, they were called Metal School or Metal Shop. Metal Shop. Just before they became uh, Steel Panther. Yeah, they were called Metal Shop, and I saw them at the Viper Room on Sunset Boulevard, so mm. that is pretty funny. Um, mm. and anyway, I don't know if we're going to jam or anything, but it's definitely going to be entertaining. You're going to be here for some. Now, wait, are you, better in, are, you, are you better informed than I am? Do you have the actual sideways dates? I do. You're going to be in Sydney Tuesday, you do? Fe yep. so Tuesday Phil, February Phil. 24 at Horton Pavilion. Okay. And Thursday, February 26th yeah, at Festival Hall in Melbourne. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Have you so played at Festival Hall? Thanks for, for filling me in on that. That's all right. What now? Have you played at Festival Hall before? Um, you know what? It sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. I'd be lying if I knew for sure. It's an old boxing venue, so it's pretty grungy. And um, what else are you looking forward to doing when you get back to Australia in February? Uh, oh, I'm just looking forward to the whole thing. You know, that's... Uh, I'm looking forward to, to all the bands on the whole sideways thing. It's a really great lineup. So so it's just going to be a gas. And I, I miss it. I haven't been over there. It's been, uh, well, I mean, with the exception of when I came over to do the footy uh, mm. sort of like intro that I did, um, it's been, it been a year and a half or something like that since we've actually toured through there. So I'm really looking forward to it. And, and the course. band's kicking ass. The band sounds so good right now. Yeah, great, because uh, you did release World on Fire uh, last year. So uh, it'd be great to see that being played in full. And I'm guessing some old favourites as well. Yeah, you'll hear a lot of that record because it's, 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 it's become so popular with everybody. So we do a lot of that. And then we do a lot of the other stuff. And, you know, we throw in odds and ends uh, here and there that are completely unexpected you know so we, we make a good time out of it um now when you were here last me and my and my uh co-host higo we were um apologizing to you for the acbc pinball machine not being quite right so we'll make sure that that's ready for you when you're here 
You mean you guys haven't fixed it yet? No, no, we've been on holidays, man. It's you're, you're summer just waiting, in Australia. You're just waiting for me to come back so that you'll fix it. When <laughs> I get there, what about all the other people that come in there and play it? And we, the right flipper doesn't work. No one's allowed to touch it. I remember it exactly what's wrong with that machine. You've got all kinds of switches not working. I know, it's an embarrassment. I'm going to get Angus. I'm going to tell Angus that you guys don't maintain your pinball machine. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do that. He'll, he'll get angry no, with us as well. It's okay. I'll, I'll come over there. I'll get a pinball guy to come up there with me and we'll fix it up. That's great, and um, you feel you'd feel plenty guilty if I did that. I would. I'm actually blushing already at the thought. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today, and uh, looking forward to seeing you in February. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to playing there in February, so I can't wait. And and I will see you, and then we'll play pinball, and we'll play it on a perfectly maintained and service machine. Sounds great. Thanks, Slash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you. Bye. See ya, bye. So there were a lot of reviews of these two shows that Slash played with Steel Panther. One in particular was the one at the Pavilion in Sydney, Australia, back on February 24th, 2015. Now here's what the review had to say about the show. They said, as we stood and waited for the show to start, the Hoarder and Pavilion were, were playing Iron Maiden 666, The Number of the Beast, and I was stoked to hear the venue playing great music. That really builds the atmosphere leading to the band's performances. They said, with a strong intro kicking off their set with Pussy Whipped, the crowd was in a frenzy and ready to rock out with Steel Panther. The vocals of Michael Starr captured my attention instantly, and they were crisp and every lyric was articulate. The combination of the dramatic guitar riffs, bass lines, and rumble of the drums were complemented by the costume design of each of the band members and altogether created an unforgettable show. If you're easily offended, Steel Panther, Panther are not a band for you. For the rest of the population, we were laughing and singing along to every song. Full of sexy lyrics, Steel Panther are not for the faint-hearted. They are clever and full of charisma, and as a result, they suck you in, and you just can't resist singing along no matter how potentially inappropriate you deem their lyrics to be. They said Satchel's guitar solo left the girls swooning, and Lexi Fox's fabulous hair solo had them all jealous. Playing 17 Girls Next Star grabbed a number of ladies from the audience to join them on stage, and in true Aussie form, when it came time for Star to move them off of stage, he attempted this statement. He said only girls willing to show their tits should stay on the stage. All the other girls stay put, but he only, but he only gave us only one gave us a sneak peek. They also talked a bit about the Slash show. They said the lights were down, and from the back, we could see movement on the stage. In the front, basically, row let out a roar, and it triggered the rest of the audience like a Mexican wave. Slash was on stage. The big intro of Your Lie had the crowd screaming, and everyone's eyes were on stage. Frontman Miles Kennedy brings style to the night with the charm, with his charm particularly shining through on the lyrics to Night Train. As they moved flawlessly through each song, it was hard not to be sucked into the energy of the band on stage, and the crowd were mesmerized through Ghost and back from Cali. They all knew the lyrics and were singing them back to a very humble Kennedy. They said the chemistry between Miles and Slash really stood out during Starlight. Everyone in the room was hypnotized by the way Slash was made playing the guitar look easy, especially during Anastasia when he brought out his half-acoustic, half-electric Guild Crossroads so in 2016, their frontman Michael Starr gave an interview to Metal Wani where he gave a, basically his opinion on Axl Rose fronting ACDC. He said, I think it's pretty effing awesome. I think, I mean, who's going to sound more like Brian Johnson than Axl Rose? Think about it. They're like the same register, the same key, the same tone, and as Axl. That's pretty cool when you have two heavenly heavy metal bands joining forces. It's like two continents coming together for one big heavy metal baby. As long as he shows up, and if he shows up, he goes on time, and he stops eating before the show, it should be great. So as recently as 2018, Steel Panther actually performed live with Steven Adler. Uh, they played Sweet Child of Mine on stage, and they even gave Steven Adler a shout-out in a Facebook video and basically said that Steven should be part of the GNR reunion like every real GNR fan thinks. I don't want to do a video for Steven Adler. Steven Adler? No oh, way. Oh, wait, Not that guy. <laughs> hey, Steven, what's up, man? So, hey, you know what, Steven? I've been I miss we should you, do a video for Steven Adler because we love him so much. Who's Steven Adler? Steven Adler, dude. Anyway, you should be in Guns N' Roses. Actually, we were hoping that maybe you'd join our band because Chick just left. Oh, Don't shit. join our band. Tell Sean McNabb, said, what's up? Sean McNabb? Sean McNabb? Oh, my God. Hi, Sean. How are you? We love you. Steve, we love you. Tell your mom yeah, we'll love you. I'll call her later. All right. Bye. Enjoy down on the mic. So that does it for today's video, guys. Steel Panther are apparently working on their follow-up to their 2017 album. And they're doing a run of U.S. tour dates uh, in early 2019. 
And Guns N' Roses as well, who knows what's going on with those guys. Hopefully they'll be putting out something new in the near future. From the rumblings I've heard, there'll be some sort of release, whether it's new music or it could be old demos or old recordings that we could be seeing. So that does it for today's show, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Steel Panther. I personally love this band. I feel like in this day and age of political correctness, this is a band that rock and roll fans really need. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button and be sure to subscribe if you love GNR as much as I do. Take care. Hey, this is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses, and you're watching GNR Central. Yeah! <laughs>